What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day. And I'm excited because today's video is my second real figure unboxing. The last one was cool, definitely fun to film, but I already showed how much of a rookie I am because I didn't realize that the figure that I got was a bootleg. With that being said, I'm not even upset about it because honestly that figure still looks better than any actual NECA product I've ever owned in person. Owned or seen in person, I should say. So just a friendly word of advice to NECA, maybe you guys should check out those bootleggers and see what they're doing that you're not. Because like I said, that was a way better figure than I've ever received from NECA. So, bootleg or not, don't regret that. Just wish that I'd known it was a bootleg before I talked like it wasn't. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into today's package. We have another package here from overseas, so I'm sure that it's a bootleg as well. However, this is not a NECA figure. This is actually a Figma figure, or at least it's supposed to be. But it was extremely cheap, so maybe it is a bootleg too. I'm sure that you guys will let me know down in the comments. Actually had a lot of figure enthusiasts watch that last video and let me know what the deal was. Try to open this as easily as possible. This one was actually shipped with care, and it doesn't look like it's going to be torn up, but it's also in an actual box. All right, well, it looks nice. The package is a little damaged as well. That is fucking annoying. It's like the longer I look, the more I see wrong with it. But once again, this is only $27, I believe. So I can't complain too much and I am going to be taking it out of the packaging. So whatever. I don't know if it's real, but it does say Konami Digital Entertainment. So I guess it's real. I don't know. The other one really did say NECA on the packaging, so it's hard to fucking tell. But what we have here is the red pyramid thing from Silent Hill, also known as Pyramid Head. And I'm not sure if you guys realize how big of a deal Silent Hill is to me, so I think that's another video that's going to be coming up in the future, me talking about Silent Hill, because I like it a lot more than I think I've ever given away on this channel, and it's just absolutely one of my all-time biggest inspirations as far as horror and creating goes. So I thought, why not make the second figure that we review something that I am extremely passionate about? And I've always wanted a Pyramid Head figure anyways. This probably won't be the last because there are quite a few on the market, but this was the cheapest. Something that I figured would be pretty safe for a new series, something that I wouldn't be spending a lot of money for a little payoff. So yeah, let's go ahead and take it out of here and look at what we've got. Once again, pretty bummed about the packaging. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It's like a little stress fracture crinkle there. And uh, it was pretty hard on this side as well, but it looks like it's calmed down a little bit. Yeah, it's still pretty big. That's what she said. Not a great time, so just fucking ship things correctly, please, for the love of God. Here we've got it behind its plastic window, and it looks like there are plenty of accessories with this one. That last Myers figure review that we did only had a knife and a jack-o'-lantern, which I never could get to light up, so I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. Set these accessories off to the side, and go ahead and separate this packaging so that we can have Pyramid Head in our hands. All right, looks pretty cool. Uh, his fucking joints aren't painted, so that's kind of strange looking. He also just has a random piece of cotton fiber on his face or something. Yeah, so like I said, he looks pretty good, but I don't know how well you can see right there. His little joints aren't painted, and they really stand out and look strange, so I may have to go over that and do some dry brushing because that is just obnoxious looking. Definitely did not have that in the catalog or listing photo there. And I know this is a weird complaint, but he almost looks too dark, like too tattered and torn, like there's too much texture going on, which is a weird thing to say about something in Silent Hill, but yeah, it's just kind of strange. Uh, definitely doesn't look exactly like the listing photo, so I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, he doesn't look bad, he looks good. He looks better than what NECA would probably have done with him. Definitely like his weird textures up under the pyramid thing, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. He doesn't necessarily look dirty. He just, I mean, he looks like a black guy. And that isn't correct solely for the fact that in the video games, he's just like a Caucasian figure with dirt all over him. So I don't know what they were doing when they painted him. So we will set him to the side over here, and I want to take a look at the accessories that we got. Does not stand worth a shit. So there's this weird accessory that kind of fell out. I'm not sure where that goes or what it's for. It looks like a hoof or something. And I can't visibly see anywhere that that would go or why I would need it, but whatever. Then we've got his spear, which I will definitely be adding to 
the figure itself because I think it's fucking rad. And then over here, oh yeah, fuck the spear. We're gonna give him a sword. That sword, much cool, very nice. And I'm over here talking shit about him not standing up, but they actually gave him a stand, which is rad. Pop that in there, and we'll, we'll get him looking good. Don't you fucking worry. I know you guys are real worried about it. We've got all kinds of hand accessories. We've got the extra hands, different uh, holding grips, devices, jerking off mechanisms, you name it. Fingers in the butt. So yeah, let's set this up real quick. A few moments later. All right, there we go. I think he looks pretty cool. Not too bad at all. You know, I would say, eh, but it's $27, something like that. It's under $30 fucking dollars. I think it looks pretty good. Especially since I can get in there and paint those joints up, the only thing that really bother me. I'd say it's a pretty good deal. Definitely shelf worthy, definitely collection worthy. $30, not bad at all. So aside from Pyramid Head, I would also like to start picking up the nurses because the nurses are of course a staple of the franchise. Definitely a big deal in the series. Probably just as big of a deal as Pyramid Head, I would say. Even though they both should have only technically been in Silent Hill 2, you know they kept bringing them back because they were so iconic. I've got mixed feelings about that, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, the figures that I've seen either look like shit or are really, really fucking expensive i'm not kidding get on ebay and look up silent hill figures some of those prices will blow your fucking mind but we will have to see what happens and if you guys would like to see a video of me talking about silent hill what it means to me why i like it so much just a nice big open discussion about one of my favorite things in the history of horror definitely my favorite video game series please let me know down in the comments i would definitely get a video of that up for you guys because i really really enjoy silent hill and there's probably a lot of kids out here watching that don't even know what silent hill is which is fucking wild but maybe this is the opportunity to show those kids what silent hill is and what we were all afraid of so all that's left is to go ahead and give you guys some nice up close shots of this figure. I'd say this was a pretty decent unboxing. Price wise it was great. Shipping time wasn't fantastic but it did come from overseas and the box was only slightly damaged. Definitely not as annoying as last time. So yeah I'll give this one a thumbs up. That's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Thank you very much for being here. I definitely appreciate you. Say no to drugs and alcohol and until next time we will see you later. Take it